you can identify when you're watching any clip, you can identify parts of the clip that you like and parts of the clip that you don't like using what's called ratings. There are, there are two ratings, a favorite and rejected. And so while I'm watching a clip, I'm going to mark in range of the area that I want to identify. And let's say that while I'm watching this, uh, from there to about there, that's the section that I know I'm going to use. I, I'm happy with that. The, the, the walk was perfect. The, yeah, the, the brick wall was, was performing perfectly. And let's say we like that area. We, we want to keep that area. I'm going to mark this as a favorite. And this can be done in a couple ways. You can click this green star. And the green star identifies the clip as a favorite. Or you can press the F key. And when you do that, you indicate that that range right from there to there is marked as a favorite. And you can do that in multiple places in your sequence. You identify another section over here, maybe right where he sits down. We like that section. I mark that as a favorite. And then the section over here, uh, we'll mark that as a favorite too. And so those three areas are areas that we want to mark as favorite. And you'll see that if you look here in the uh, event browser, you can see if you the, with the disclosure triangle open, you can see now I have these three favorite stars over here. And each of them, if I click on them, select the area of the clip that was was selected uh, when I marked them. So I can identify and I can double click this to name it. So instead of just being called favorite, I can call this walking past wall. And this one I can mark as called sitting down. and so forth. And so these are areas that are marked and these are this is the way that you get around the fact that Final Cut doesn't remember your in and out selection. Once you make an in and out selection, if you know that it's an area you're going to want to keep, the first thing you want to do is press, click the uh, green star or press the F key to mark it as a favorite and then that will stick around and you'll be able to reload that in and out at any point. You can also mark areas as rejected. So for example, let's say this section at the beginning of this shot we know is no good. And so I'm going to mark that area and then I'm going to click the red X or press the delete key. And so that gets marked as rejected. And I can do that to other areas in the clip here. Mark that as rejected. And so you've got these areas that are now, you've got the green areas which are the favorites and the red areas which are rejected. And again, you can select each item to have the, the viewer up here display the area that was marked. Uh, but you can also, if you go to the view menu and say show marked ranges, and this is actually on by default, but you can turn it on or off. This will display up here in the viewer red areas for the areas that are rejected and green areas for the areas that are favorites. And if you click on the green area or the red area, you can select that specific range. And that blue line that you're seeing there that's running the whole length of the clip, that's actually the keyword that was applied automatically when we did the analysis, the two persons wide shot. That's what that blue line is indicating. So we've got red lines to indicate rejected, green lines to indicate uh, favorites, the blue line to indicate the uh, the an analysis keyword, and you'll see when we start adding our own keywords, those will appear as well.